Good morning, all my friends. How are we feeling? Are we here? Are we ready? Are we ready to do a 30 minute? I'm feeling really good. I hope you all are feeling really good. Um, I'm early today, which I'm super excited about. I hate being late. So every time I'm like right on time, I'm like, yes, it feels so good. Um, thank you all so much. If anybody has any quick questions, um, let me know. We have about a minute here. My brother-in-law is on here. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Hi, Joyce. Oh, this is so fun. I love seeing all of um, some friendly faces that I know have been joining for so long. And also, if anybody is new, welcome. This is a 30-minute. Um, we will be doing this without a prop today, so you kind of everything is just going to be with it, your own body weight. So that'll be really fun. Um, hi. Let's. I think we all need a little bit of movement and just to open up and feel really great about your entire body and mind and connect everything together. And I'm so thankful that you guys are all here. Is it necessary to purchase the ball for your workouts? I'm new, sorry. I mean, I love the ball so much. I recommend it. I find that it is like the most amazing prop. Um, it adds such a perfect balance of stability and instability. Un instability. <laughs> um, so I always recommend it. I have a bunch of links inside of my uh, bio if you want to buy one also there. And um, are the 30 minute flows usually at a faster pace than 60 minutes, Joyce? Uh, they're slightly quicker, um, just in terms of like getting your circulation going a little bit faster for a shorter period of time, but the intention is still there. So I still want to make sure that it is slow and controlled. And if you're finding that the quicker pace is not allowing you to connect as deeply, or, you know, it's kind of forcing you to kind of like add momentum, then take it down a little, take it a little bit slower. So no big deal. You kind of find where you feel the greatest there. Okay. All right. Okay. Today's session is going to be 30 minutes, no prop, full body always. We're going to get right into it, really tapping deep into the core. We're going to start on top of your knees. You're going to take your knees wide, but your feet are going to be in parallel. So your knees are wide, your feet are in parallel. You're lifting up through the pelvic floor here. Just start to reach your arms back so you're opening up the chest. Start to reach your hands forward here. So we're going to build some heat by moving your arms intentionally through space. You're keeping your weight over your knees. So you're pulling your abdominals in so your weight is over your knees here. And then find your stance that feels the most comfortable for you. So if this stance is a little bit too wide, you can take your knees in a little bit closer. Start to reach your arms up and back. We're going to hinge backwards. So you're going to go about halfway, stretching through your arms, pressing your arms out through here. So the abdominals are driving this movement. If you're feeling any knee pressure, you can go ahead and grab a towel and take it underneath your knees. You want to make sure that you have enough support there. Lift it up. So really actively moving your arms. You're stretching them out as if you're in a denser space than air. So you're pressing it back, lifting up in the core, reaching it out, and lift. Let's do two more. And lift, let's do one more. Reaching it out, we're gonna hold here. You're gonna drop your arms down to the floor. You're just gonna tap your fingertips and then reach your hands up. So just a slight tap here. We're pulling your hips backwards so that you're feeling the glutes connected here. We're trying to turn off the shoulders, kind of like towards your ears. You want to turn off the traps here, but you're actively pressing the arms down so you're connecting into the triceps and the lats. Two, two more. And then one more. You're going to reach your hands out, turn your palms facing in towards each other. You're going to start to bend your elbows in and then stretching your arms out straight. So you're bending your elbows in, stretching your arms out. And then make sure that you're still breathing. So you're doing a nice expansive breath. You're feeling like your ribs are opening up out to the side and pulling back together, trying not to breathe out of the abdominals. So in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Let's do two more. And back. One more. And then back. You're going to lift all the way up on your knees, pulling in the chest. Start to hinge backwards again, reaching out through your fingertips, lifting up through here. And let's do three more. Keeping the core engaged, reminding yourself the core is the start of every movement. One more. And then we're going to lift all the way up and then you're going to take your feet and squeeze them together. So now your heels are together here, lifting up through the core, starting to press your arms backwards. So tiny pulses back on your arms, keeping the abdominals in. 
You're trying to feel like energy is reaching up out of the top of your head, so you're not trying to ground yourself so much onto your knees. You're trying to pull the abdominals in and up. Tiny pulses back. And let's do three more. Two more. One more. Hold your arms back through here. You're going to bend the elbows as you hinge backwards. Press your arms back as you lift up in the chest. So you're bending here, pulling the core in, keeping the chest nice and open. Hinging backwards, pressing through the arms. This nice fluid motion here. Keeping the core in. You can feel your hips opening up here. Trying to connect into your pelvic floor. And let's do three more. And up two more. And up, last one. Press your arms back. We're going to hinge backwards here, so keeping the core in. Rounding forward as you reach up here, your fingertips start to open up your chest. And then rounding forward, pulling in the core as you reach your hands out. Start to open up in your chest. So you're pulling the abdominals and stretching through your fingertips. Opening all the way up. Two more. Rounding forward. All the way back. One more. Rounding forward. Opening up your chest here. And then you're going to reach your hands forward. Make your way onto your hands and knees here. So your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to start to tuck your toes underneath and your heels are together. You're going to start to hover your knees up. Hover here and hold. And then drop the knees down. So the abdominals lift your knees up. You're just hovering very slightly. Drop it down. You're checking in with the center of your elbows to make sure that they're facing forward towards your fingertips. Keeping the elbows nice and soft so that you're not hyperextending and you're really controlling it through your muscles. So pulling the abdominals and lift up and hold. Drop it down. Let's do three more. Pulling in the core. Drop it down. Two more. Lifting up. Dropping down. One more here. Hovering up and hold. Drop it down. Let's sit back into a child's pose, stretching out through those arms. You're going to tuck your toes underneath again. We're pressing out into a full plank, so open up your chest here. Elbows stay forward, abdominals stay in, and the heels are squeezed. You're going to bend your knees as you press through those arms, zipping up through the inner thighs, reaching your chest forward as you're actively pulling into that plank. So this movement is continuous here, so you're really lifting up through the core, zipping up the inner thighs, stretch it out, really building some nice circulation in your body, zipping up through the inner thighs, stretch, stretch, stretch. And let's do three more. Keeping the core in. You're trying to externally ro to rotate in the hips even as you're squeezing the legs here, so you can feel kind of your outer legs, your inner thighs, your glutes working as well. And one more. All the way out here. Woo. Let's hold for a second. You're going to bend your knees, reaching your arms all the way out, stretching through the spine. And we're going to slowly start to articulate the spine. Lift it up. Two more. Reaching your hands out, opening the arms out. And lift. Last one. Open the arms out. And lift, holding the arms back through here. Tiny pulses back with the arms, keeping the core engaged, keeping lifted up off the shoulders. Let's do three, two, and then one. Reaching your hands forward, stretching out into a child's pose again. And then going back onto your hands. Your hands are underneath your shoulders, pulling in the core here. You're going to start to reach your arm out to the side, so you're lengthening through the arm. Drop it down. Let's go over to the other side. So you're reaching it out and drop it down. So your weight is distributed in the center of your body. You're stretching out through the side, dropping it down. Keeping that forward-facing elbow so that you're not taking it into your shoulder. Really staying connected into your abdominals. Let's go over to the side. Drop it down. Let's do one more on each side. So stretching it out, dropping it down. One more. And drop it down. You're going to hover your 
toe, curl your toes underneath, start to hover your knees again here and hold. Start to squeeze the knees together. Open the knees out to the side, squeezing the knees, opening out to the side. Let's do three more. Opening it out. Two more, keeping the core in. One more. Open the knees out, dropping the knees, reaching your hands all the way out, stretching through your fingertips. Slowly roll through the spine. Let's lift all the way up through here, pulling in the core, reaching your hands all the way up to the ceiling. Drop your arms down. Let's lift it all the way up again, lifting up through the core, dropping it down. One more, lifting it all the way up. And drop it down. Okay, let's flip your legs around to the front of your mat. I hope you're nice and warm. Body is circulating really well. Lifting up through here, sending your arms all the way up. You're gonna take your feet together and your knees are slightly opened up through here. Scoop and roll down one vertebrae at a time. We're rolling through the spine. Take your hands all the way up over your head. Circle the arms around. You're gonna pull the chin in. Slowly starting to lift all the way up. Scoop and roll down, so you're peeling through the abdominals here, stretching out through the arms. Hands up over your head, let's circle them around, and lift right back up. So we're really trying to articulate through the spine, pulling the abdominals in, let's roll through the spine, one vertebrae at a time, elongating out through the core, elongating out through your fingertips, and let's lift right back up. If you're finding these roll downs challenging for whatever reason today, you're welcome to go just about halfway down. You don't have to go all the way. And let's lift all the way back up. And then we're gonna pull the abdominals in. So you're at a very slight hinge. The abdominals are in, but the chest stays open. You're gonna soften your arms. Just start to open the arms out to the side, pulling it back to center. So just doing a nice open, pull the arms back in. So you're connecting behind your shoulder blades my body is at about like a, just a slight hinge back. It's not even halfway down. I would say it's like 25% of the way down. Keep the abdominals in here and then check in with your legs to make sure your heels are squeezed together. So your inner thighs, your outer thighs, your entire body is working. So every exercise here really taps into every muscle. And let's do one more. Pulling your hands together here, extend them out. Scoop and roll all the way down so you're rolling through the spine. Reaching your hands all the way up over your head and circle them around. Slowly start to lift. And then we're gonna go back down into the same position. If you feel like going into parallel is a little bit easier on your hip flexors, you're also welcome to take it into parallel. So make an oval shape with your arms. Take your left hand out to the side. You're gonna pull it back to center here. Let's take your right arm out to the side. Pull it back to center. So your whole body is staying stable here, but just your arms are moving out and in. So you're opening it up and then you're actively pulling the arm back to center. Opening it up. Keeping the core in here. Trying to keep very stabilized. Try to turn off the hip flexors and the glutes as much as possible by feeling like your heels are pulling in towards your body. You can relax your toes on the ground or you can keep them slightly lifted. Let's do one more on each side. Last one. Good. Reach your hands back to center here. Slowly roll all the way down. Take your hands all the way up over your head. We're gonna circle them all the way around. Pull the chin in. Let's go right back up. We have one more little piece here, so scooping in the core, keeping your chest nice and open through here. You're gonna open up your arms as you start to squeeze your knees together and then pull your arms back to center. So your arms and legs are doing kind of the opposite here. I'm not opening up my arms all the way out into a T because I don't feel as stable in my core there. So I'm keeping it very nice and controlled, turning off the neck, reminding yourself to relax the jaw. One thing I like to do is put my tongue on the top of my mouth, at the roof of my mouth, and I find that it really relaxes the jaw. And you can still breathe that way. Two more. One more. And then back to center. Reach your hands all the way out. Let's scoop and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Let's take your hands back behind your head. Circle them around. And let's lift all the way up through here. Let's take a butterfly stretch to so open up your knees. Just stretch your arms out for a second. Elongating out through here. 
and then slowly start to roll yourself back up. We're going to turn over back onto your hands and knees. So your knees are going to be underneath your hips and your hands are underneath your shoulders here. I want you to start to extend that leg all the way up. So you're reaching out through your leg, staying lifted up out of the core, starting to draw the knee in. So your foot never leaves the ground, it's just lengthening out, drawing the knee in here. If you're having any wrist issues at all too, or you find that it's just a little bit too much on your wrist, you can drop down to your forearms. You can also make a fist here, which really creates a lot of stability through your wrist and also gaining some strength there too to you know, get your way down onto your hands. And let's do two more. So controlling this move from your core. One more. And now you're going to extend that leg all the way out. You're going to start to open up this hip. So you're opening up your leg, but you're trying not to twist in your upper body. And then you're going to pull your hip back to parallel as you drop that leg down. So your hip is externally rotating on both sides of your body. You're opening the hip up and then drop it down. The goal here is to keep your chest parallel to the floor. Just allow your lower body to create that mobility in your hip. Two more. Open it up. And one more. You're going to open it up here and hold. Okay, so your hip stays nice and open. You're going to tap your toe down. Lift it up. So tapping it down. Lifting it up. So you're trying to open up in both hips. So you're still lifting up off that supporting leg as well. And let's do three more. Two more. And one more. You're going to hold that leg all the way up. Drop down to your forearm and the arm that's on the same line as your bottom leg. And you're going to take this nice and open, lifting up through the chest here. Start to bend your knee in. Stretch it out, elongate out through that leg. So your hip stays nice and open, bending it in, stretching it out. So keeping your spine nice and long, keeping your toes nice and relaxed and you're thinking energy extends out of your abdominals. Let's do three more. And two more. One more. Extend it all the way out. We're gonna rotate down to the floor. You're going to take this top leg into parallel here. Stretch out through that front arm so you're elongating out through your spine here. You can drop your chest down very slightly. Just tap the toe down. Lift it up. Tap it down. Lift it up. So you're now elongating out through your body, keeping your shoulders back, keeping your abdominals in. All the way out. Let's do two more here, and one more, and then drop that knee all the way down. Let's lift yourself up. We're going to take the supporting leg into a pigeon stretch here. Drop it all the way down. You can drop your head down for a second, get a nice stretch, and you can tap on that glute, get really deep inside of that glute. It's very, very intense feeling how deep you can connect into that muscle there. So we want to make sure that we stretch it out as well. Take a deep breath. All right, we're going to flip over onto the other side. So let's start by taking your hands. I'm going to rotate this slightly. Taking your hands underneath your shoulders here. Knees are underneath your hips. You're just going to start to extend the opposite leg out. So you're lengthening out of your core. Start to draw your knee back in. So you're stretching it out through here. Drawing it back in. So checking in with your elbows to make sure your elbows are facing forward. You're staying lifted up off your arms because your abdominals are pulling in so deeply in towards your core that you're trying not to arch, trying not to tuck the spine. And let's do two more. And last one, you're going to extend it out through here. You're going to start to open up the hip. So both hips are opening up, but your chest stays down to the floor, dropping it down into parallel, tapping that toe. So externally rotating here, opening up the hip, and drop it down. 
So you're just twisting through the core, your belly button down to your toes, you're trying to open up to the side. Drop it down. Let's do two more. And one more. Opening it up. And you're gonna hold there. You're gonna start to drop yourself onto your elbow. Open up out to the side, start to tap that toe down. And lift. Tapping it down. And lift. Shoulders are back, you're keeping your abdominals engaged, stretching through the leg. Let's do two more. And lift, one more. And lift and start to bend that knee in. So you're bending your knee in here, stretching it all the way out. If your neck is aggravated at all, make sure you're just dropping your head down to the floor, just letting it hang here. And out. Let's bend it in. All the way out, two more. And out, so shoulders are back, abdominals are in, last one. All the way out here, you're going to internally rotate that leg back to parallel as you reach this front arm all the way out and stretch out through the spine. So you're really elongating here, keeping the core, and you're going to tap the toe down, lift it up, stretching through the spine. Let's lift it up. Make sure you're still breathing here, keeping the abdominals in. Stretch it out. Let's do three more. And lift. Two more. And last one. Lift all the way up. Stretch it out. Bend the knees in. We're going to take the opposite leg into a pigeon. So whichever leg you were in before, switch it up. Drop it down. You can drop your head down here. Get a nice stretch. Whew. You can pound on that also. Get it a little bit deeper there. And then let's flip your legs around again. Take your legs at the front of the mat. You're going to reach your arms all the way out. We can keep your feet in parallel, so make sure that your knees are in line with your hips. Lift up out of the core. We're going to scoop and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Let's take your arms all the way up over your chest, up over your head. You're going to circle them around, and then start to draw your knees in towards your chest. So you're going to give your knees a little hug here. You can rock side to side. And then your hands are going to go on top of your knees. You're going to curl up looking towards your abdominals here. So we're going to try to get into a neutral pelvis with your tailbone down. You're going to start to extend your legs out. Your arms are going to reach up over your head. Your heels are together. Toes are apart. Circle the arms around. Bend the knees into your chest. So let's extend it out. Circle it around here. Reaching it out. Really reaching through those arms. If your neck hurts at all, you're welcome to drop your head all the way down. Try to not to arch your spine when you're in this position, keeping the abdominals in. Let's do two more. All the way up. One more. Stretch it out. Circle the arms around. You're going to hover your knees in tabletop again. Take your hands back behind your head. So now you're clasping your fingers together. They're at the nape of your neck and you're curling up here and holding. Start to open your knees out to the side. Squeeze the knees back to center so you're opening it up and squeeze. And I want your knees to open because your hips are opening up, not just the knees. So it's coming a little bit deeper into externally, rotating from the hip, opening it up, squeezing it together. Let's do three more. Keeping your neck nice, nice and long and your shoulders dropped. And one more. And now you're opening your legs out to the side. Let's flex the feet here. You're going to press your legs out straight as you point the toes. Bend the knees as your feet start to draw in toward your glutes. So you're elongating out. Point the toes here. Flexing the feet in. Stretching it out. Keep breathing. Point it out. Let's do two more. And one more. Point it out. Flexing the feet in here. You can just relax your feet, but make sure that your heels are glued together here. You're going to start to squeeze your knees as you rotate slightly over to the right. Use your abdominals to pull back to center. Let's twist over to the opposite way. So your hips are not rotating with you. It's just your belly button up, adding a nice little rotation from your spine. A nice little twist over to the side. Back to center. Twist. 
back to center, up and over to the side. Let's do one more on each side. And then last one. Whew. You're gonna drop one foot at a time. Heels are together, knees are apart, toes are apart. Let's lay all the way down and take your arms out into a T here. So you're pressing down into your arms. You're gonna slowly start to tuck and lift all the way up. You're gonna lift your hips up high, lengthen out of the top of your head, relax your toes, press into your heels, and then scoop and roll down one vertebrae at a time. So you're rolling through the spine here, dropping the tailbone down, start to tuck and lift up again. So your weight is in your heels. You're trying to keep your chest nice and open. If you can get there, you can kind of roll through your shoulders, get a little bit of a stretch through your thoracic spine, giving the neck a nice break. Start to lift all the way up. All the way up here. And then scoop and roll down. Let's do one more. Let's lift all the way up. You're going to hold up here at the top. Start to squeeze your knees together. Open the knees out wide. So you're keeping your abdominals in. You're thinking low pelvic floor. Low abdominals are really staying in nice and pulled in so that you can lift up to the ceiling. Your weight is in your heels. Your hands are pressing down to the floor. Let's do three more. Two more. And one more. Let's open the knees out to the side. You're going to turn your palms facing towards your knees and then just start to pull your hands above your chest here. Hips stay high and dropping the arms down. So you're moving your arms intentionally through space as if you're in a denser space than air. You'll feel a little nerve stretch here as you reach the arms out. Check in with the weight of your heels. Make sure you're even on both heels. Make sure your hips are still nice and high. Keeping the abdominals in. Let's do two more. And one more. And then you're going to take your palms up to the ceiling. You're going to dip your hips down into a flat back as you take your hands up and over your head. So your arms are just hovering. You're going to go back out into a T as your hips lift up through here. Cover your arms up off the ground, dip it down, lifting it up back out into a T. Check in with your legs, make sure that you're evenly lifting here. It's probably the most challenging part about having your knees open like this, is trying to really even out both sides of your body. Two more. And lift. One more. And lift all the way up, take your palms down to the floor, Lifting up through here, another squeeze of the knees, opening the knees out, squeeze, and drop. Let's do three more, two more, and one more. Open the knees out to the side, slowly roll through the spine, reaching your hands up over your head. Give yourself some space between your heels and your glutes, slowly starting to roll all the way up, lifting all the way up through here. Okay, we're going to turn onto your side, go down onto your forearm here. You're going to squeeze your knees together, squeeze your feet together. Extending this top arm up, you're lifting up through the core here. We're going to start to hover your hips up, so we're just going to hold this position. You want the line between your knees and your shoulders to be one nice straight line. Reaching out of that top arm, just take that arm up and over your head. Take it down by your side. You're stretching it out up and over your head. Drop it down by your side. Reaching it all the way up, stretching through that arm. And now we're going to add a rotation. So you're taking your arm up and over, rotating down to the floor. You're going to slide your arm out, back to the side, lifting up, rotating down to the floor. Taking that arm out and up. One more. All the way out to the side. Lift it up through here. You're just going to lift your hips up, keeping that arm up over your head, pulling it back out to the side into a nice plank, lifting up through the abdominals. Drop it down. Let's do three more. Keep stretching through that top arm all the way up through that side of your body. And one more. Beautiful. Let's slide your legs around. Let's go right over to the other side. Going onto your forearm here, keeping your knees together. Extending this top arm all the way out, lifting up through the core and up out of the shoulder, reaching this hand all the way out. You're taking it up and over your head. Drop it down to your side here. 
You're trying to find your furthest rainbow away from your body, so really lengthening it out, reaching it out here. Let's do one more, stretching it out. And then we're going to twist down to the floor, so you're going up and over, rotate down to the floor, start to open up your chest, so your abdominals drive this movement, rotating down. And up, one more. And then all the way up, your arm extends up over your head, you're doing tiny lifts, and lower. Lift, and lower, really reaching out of that top arm, stretching it through. Last little bit here, two more. And one more. So nice. Let's flip down to the floor. Take yourself into a child's pose, knees open wide, stretching through your arms through here. We're gonna take your left hand underneath your right hand, get a nice twist. Take both hands all the way out, let's twist over to the opposite side, stretching through, get a nice twist. And then coming all the way back to center, reaching out through your arms, you're gonna slowly start to pull the abdominals in. Let's roll up through here. Let's do a couple shoulder circles. I love to end with a little bit of a leg inversion, so if you have a couple minutes to spare at the end, take your legs up on a wall, you can close your eyes, just open up your arms out to the side, give yourself a moment just to feel all the blood pulling out of your legs. You did it with that 30 minute full body, it definitely feels like a lot of circulation that happened. Um, thank you so much for joining me. This was really, really great. <sighs> Feel really good. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> How are we all feel? Did we have some technical difficulties? I feel like I saw a pause and I kind of wanted to keep going. Can somebody let me know if this actually did pause? I feel like I saw a phone call go through, but um, you know, this is live. Things, things happen. I apologize. Um, Questions wise, I posted something on my Instagram about any questions that have kind of been hovering that some people um, might want answered in terms of the method or anything kind of about all this movement. Um, so feel free to send that to me and I'll try to get to that as much as possible and, you know, really um, focus on all these little, little movements because there's so many little tiny things that make so much more of the big picture and what this is. And it takes some time. So just really listen to your body um, about the roll downs too. I didn't mention the pregnancy through this one, but if you are at a certain point in your pregnancy, I always say it's like around that, you know, mid second trimester, starting to roll up starts to not feel as, as comfortable because of the, um, the, okay, thank you. It did, it paused for five to seven seconds. Okay, phew, not terribly long. Um, it just starts to get uncomfortable with like the, the distribution of the weight and how your blood is throwing through your body. So I want you to make sure that you're always listening to your body, especially in planking. If you do not feel strong enough to hold a plank that day, drop down to your forearms, skip the planks altogether, but just make sure that you're like in tune with your body and how you're feeling. And that will help tremendously in terms of um, feeling, you know, what you should be doing right now. Oh, I'm gonna foam roll. If nobody has a foam roll, I really highly suggest getting a foam roll. It's super great. I'm gonna start doing some foam rolling tutorials too, because I feel like it would be very helpful. Um, I love you all. This is saved for 24 hours always. And tomorrow is 60 minutes, which I love. So I hope some of you can join that also back on the prop tomorrow. There's actually, actually tomorrow there's a 60 minute and a 30 minute. So um, stay tuned. Thank you. Love you all. Hope you feel great. Have a great, great Wednesday. See you later.